right, we're checking out the only game we're electing as president is the same as sentencing yourself to death. It's GTA. So Alex decided to do the worst thing in the history of mankind and made me the president of GTA. I would have thought that most of my time as president would have been spent, I don't know, like signing pieces of paper that I don't understand. And then I realized he gave me this horrifying monstrosity of a plane and that that I'm flying toward. I guess he's prepared a bunch of presidential challenges that I have to complete, but why you know does it why is it in the form of a clock? I don't even know what to do, so I'm just gonna fly. <laughs> I was just gonna fly in the middle, but you can't fit in the middle. <laughs> Attention passengers, I am your pilot and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I love how he's given me two wingmen and the wingmen, look, they actually shoot their missiles. It's kind of cool. So I don't know, I guess, I guess I'll go into one of the, one of the question marks. I, I think I have enough space to get into the question mark. Like I think my, yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, go on. okay. Ah! Wait, so am I drowning or am I not drowning? What's this say? Destroy the submarines. <laughs> America, F yeah. <laughs> I was like, where are the submarines? I don't know how, but he literally just cut a slice out of the ocean. Like making a sandwich. Okay, I mean, do I keep, oh, I keep my wingmen. Do they still shoot the rockets? Oh, they totally shoot the rockets. Okay. So, does it, do I do damage or does it work or? Oh wow, oh wow, okay. I, <laughs> I'm like the most destructive force in the game right now. <laughs> okay. So blow up all the submarines that are just levitating in the middle of, you know, the satanic trench that doesn't respect any kind of time space continuum, which is pretty much par for the course for GTA. What happens after I blow the all these up? Ow! Alright, I guess they have weight, so I need to watch out that they don't sink me while I'm doing this. Oh god. Uh, maybe I could just ram it off course, or I can- Oh! Oh, you are actually underwater! You can drown! I love that there's no checkpoint, so I actually have to do, like, the little thumbnail hole a second time just to get to that point. <laughs> Ow, I, I missed the cut! Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. No, 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 My two wingmen are like, you're bringing us down with you. That's right. If I die, we all die. I never thought this would be so much trouble. Out of the way. I never thought this would be so much trouble just to get the very first challenge done. What is this, like 24 hours as present or something? So, you know, it's like, it's like 12 in the morning. I just, I don't know why I'd be waking up right now. If I was present, I'd be waking up at like 2 p.m. I hate this clock. Handle okay, nowhere near the clock handle, totally set to make it completely normally. Gonna be just fine. <laughs> there's like two of these at the very least, then there's little circles spinning. All right, so destroy the submarines. Violence is good, and you also have to watch out because this thing is just an unwieldy like bathtub that you're trying to drive. But if you go off into the water. It, are they shooting at me? Are these subs have missiles attached to them? <laughs> I was gonna say, if you go too far off to the, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. I can't, uh, maybe I can do a full roll. If you go too far off to the side, you actually go under the water and then the vehicle dies. Where, how, what, 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 what? Or you just teleport back to the military base. What is this? Okay, I legitimately have absolutely no idea what happened there, but we're back on track. Everything is just fine. I just need my wingmen to not be drunk when they're shooting at the at the submarines. Perfect. And then not oh god. That's a that's a driving ticket right there. Running into a submarine while piloting Air Force One. Okay. And let's go ahead and level this off a little bit. Good. Uh oh, these are like right next to one another. So I have to do these like basically simultaneously. Did I get it? I got one. I don't think I got the other one. Does it matter? And then there's one more. I don't think I can pull up in time. Do I have to go over this? Is it like an obstacle where I have to jump out of the water? Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah. I'm just climbing over it. Oh, wait, I can't. There's nothing I can do here. If I go in the water, I'll just die. So how do you get past that area? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so I actually learned what I'm supposed to do. Let me show you. Through the thumbnail hole. Oh! Oh, oh, yes, I can't believe that worked. Okay, anyway, through the thumbnail hole, blow up all the submarines, but you have to get all the submarines 
There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just, just spam the missiles. It's taxpayer dollars, all right? We might as use them if you got them, I always say. <laughs> I don't know why gas prices are so high. It's because Grace still plays is using 10 million missiles in order to take down like eight submarines. Okay, so now you have to get both these. So you have to turn the plane sideways and then the double explosion. Yeah. Okay. Now there is, look. There is one submarine just chilling out on the top over here. So you have to get this one, then it blows up, and then look at this. Yeah, right behind it is, you have to kill it, it opens up, you get the teleport, and here we are, got it. And now what? I'm in like a hangar. What do I have to do? Go down. How? I'm in a plane. Like anytime I see something stupid like this, I think to myself, oh, okay. What was it? If you depart at noon and fly 50 miles per hour, what time is it after 525 miles? What are you flying at 50 miles an hour? It's like 10, 30, 10, 30, right? Is that what I've been doing all day? I've been flying at 50 miles an hour? I'm like a 91 year old flying this thing in Florida. And also why do I have to do a math SAT? Qu I'm back here. So uh, 10, 9, 10, 30, is the upper left-hand corner. Maybe I have to go to the upper left-hand corner. Hold on, I need to try something. I hate Alex's IQ challenges because it literally challenges my IQ and there's not a ton of IQ there to be challenged. All right, so you could you could have put like a round peg in a round hole and I would still find a way to screw it up. So I'm gonna, oh, there is. Okay, so there's actually a hidden, I can't get into it. <laughs> there's a hidden teleporter right here. Oh, what, I, what? What happened? What is this? Did, did I do it? Like, does that count? I'm in the middle of the tiniest little runway. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say this worked. This has to be it. So, ricochet off the water. Now we're under the water into a thumbnail hole tube. This has got to be part of the IQ challenge, right? So 1030, complete this. So I just have to turn my plane and make sure I go through this. Okay, that's right. I'm just gotta follow it. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh God. Oh no. This seemed a lot easier on paper. Back to the beginning. Okay. Off the platform, ricochet off the water. Go through the thumbnail hole. Actually, do I have to go through the thumbnail hole? Like, is there an act, is there a point to going through this? Is it a real thing? I mean, I'm, I, can I just go under it? Can I just lie? I can just go under it. There, I didn't have to do anything, right? Mm. Oh, you cheeky. So if you don't go through the thumbnail hole, you end up dying. But under the water, there is there is like an actual arrow. So part of me thinks that maybe I was supposed to drown because there's something down here. There's a pedestal down here. I'm totally going to drown before I get to this. I am, I am, I'm running out of air. Oh, there's a teleporter. It's right there. Oh, I'm so close. Uh, uh, Florida got, wow, ow. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. I love that I repainted one part of this car. So I got a car, there's a car down here. Okay, Uh, go through here. Okay, there's a lot to this board. So where does this bring me now? This is legitimately becoming confusing. Okay, there's the clock. So 1030, what is this? It's a block with an arrow. Yay! Oh! Okay, look, look. So the middle section of the clock is opening because I moved this crate. So I get it. I have to move the crates and then open the middle section of the clock. Well, the problem is I'm out of space to move the crate. So, and this crate's blocking the way. It's like a mobile game puzzle. So I have to move this crate in order to get the other crate past it so I can open up the middle all the way. So I came in from here and this part opens the bottom portion, but I want to open up the sides and the arrow goes up to 12. I don't know if that means anything. I probably have to go through the other question mark, I'll bet. Also, in case anyone was wondering, there's no way for me to cheat this. I can't get this car around this obstacle. <laughs> okay, so I have a plan. I'm going to check all these corners. So what about nine? Okay, there's a teleporter in nine. Yeah, see, we got another platform off the water tiny little thumbnail hole, and then I'll bet you can move the other side of the crate. This time I'm actually going to try and do the thumbnail hole correctly. <laughs> because before I feel like that wasn't really the way. 
Oh, yeah! Ow. It's also possible that simply going through the thumbnail hole is what allows me to get to this point. I think that's it. I think you're actually supposed to die after you go through the thumbnail hole. All right, grab the car. And now we're facing the clock. Okay, so now I'm facing the opposite direction. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so now I can take the crate, smash the crate. Why do I have to do all this work? I'm the president. I should have someone doing this for me. Climb over this because I can do that. I just couldn't move the truck over it. Grab the car, back up. Then we're gonna smash this and it should open up. Yeah, see it? Look at it. Oh, I thought it was the top and the bottom. It's only moving one of the squares. Huh. All right. Okay, so that square got moved to the middle now. I'm not gonna lie. I hope I didn't just make this stuff like a lot harder on myself. Okay, so now we're gonna do question mark on the bottom, but we have to, we have to actually kind of go through it just perfectly. Right, like, oh, yeah. Uh, destroy the hijacked planes. Okay. This feels weird because I'm the president. I'm not supposed to be, ow. I'm not supposed to be fighting my own battles. Stop. Stop tailgating me! Or you're gonna- <laughs> Just got stuck inside of my landing gear. Also, thanks a lot- Oh, there's planes literally in the sky. Oh, this thing drives like an absolute nightmare. I don't even really know exactly where my missiles go. There's a drunk plane behind me. There's a drunk plane in front of me. Okay, so I need to- Oh, jeez. I need to lead this thing so much. Okay, kind of lined up. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, so that's one plane. I don't know why all the hijackers are just driving in circles. <laughs> Imagine stealing like a multi-million dollar plane. The only thing you do with it is a bunch of donuts. There's the second plane, all right. That one just fell apart like a, like a kid's Lego set. I love how there's just a place to land up here. How am I supposed to do that? Actually, there's a couple places to land up here. You know why it's called Air Force One? Because the sky's only big enough for one of us. Whoa! Oh, there's a teleporter inside that that hijacker. I was gonna ram him, but now that there's a teleporter in him, I, I guess I am gonna ram him. I, I thought it would just be cool to kill him that way. Let me get up inside you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, forward. Okay. You don't have another math question for me, do you? Like, yeah. Oh my God, it actually is a math question. What's 9 p.m. divided by 2? Divided by the number 2 or 2 p.m.? Are we doing this by minutes? I don't know. What's 60 times 9? It's 450. What's 2 times 9? Uh, 1800. So if it's 9 p.m. divided by 2, then it's, then it's 430. I have no idea. I'm going to guess until I'm right. Okay, 430 it is. I mean, but 450 minus 1800, it's 3 something. I'm gonna do three. It's gotta be three. This has to mean, ow. Uh, oh, okay, there's an arrow. That means, that's good. What do you want me to do with Air Force One? Like valet park it or something? Your arrow's on the top of a building, isn't it? You want me to park on the top of a building, don't you? <sighs> okay. Vehicle is ready, sir. Uh, oh, I did it! <laughs> I can't believe it's like the first try! Also, what do you mean my vehicle is ready? <laughs> like I'm in my vehicle. If I get out of this, won't I just fly out the door? Oh, oh, did you, what the? Oh, okay, so he had it positioned so that I literally just pop out of the plane and then I'm in the car, get the checkpoint. I got it, okay. Okay, I had done this backwards. We moved one of the squares. Okay, I've gotta get rid of that. Then I need to get the other car, move that crate, and then we can move the final square and get Air Force One into the middle of the clock. That has to be it. I'll bet what happens is you move the right square over to the left and then you fly sideways. Perfect. Okay, so we did 3 p.m. We did 10.30. I'm gonna do the 4.30 because that's the other division with... Oh, did I just do this or is this a different one? I'm in a different area, like I'm on a different part of the map, or I started on a different part of the map. I could also just be very confused, which is what's happening right now. Okay, so park on the top of the building. We're just gonna loop this down real smooth. Nice. Okay, the vehicle is ready, sir. All right, so then get out of the, get out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a different one. There's a new vehicle here. Also, I love how the guy is just right in front of the vehicle. Like he wants to get run over. The other dude I had to tase just because I felt like it, but this, this guy I'm legitimately just going to kill. Don't stand directly in front of the car. All right, ready? It's gonna be right square to left. Hit the square. And yep, look at it move. 
<laughs> I don't know how he does it, but that looks kind of cool. Uh, oh, is that far enough? That's not far enough. I need to get it all the way. Come on, baby. Actually, maybe I can do it like this. You know what? It'll be fine. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I got the plane and then another plane spawned on top of me. So now we're doing this weird aerial tango, but on the ground. Okay. Thumbnail hole is open. The, the, the hands on the clock are going round and round. All I have to do is turn this thing sideways and slip on through. Turn this thing sideways and slip on through. Why do I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot more annoying than I previously anticipated? Do I find the answer to the universe after I manage to cram an entire plane? Uh, let me have this. I want the answers to the universe. I want to know what started it. Yes! 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 Oh my god! My brain hurts so bad, and being the president is the worst job ever. I just ran over two people. But we have a winner! <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.